Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Welcome back, you wonderful people. Welcome back to another video, still from inside my house, where the kitchen is now my workplace so there is building stuff everywhere it's so messy i'm so excited to get everything done clean out the entire house and leave this place because i canceled my lease you guys i canceled my lease <gasps> so the first of march i have to be out of my house which we're gonna do anyhow today's video is gonna be about me installing the fridge and it has been a journey with <laughs> lots of adaptations this is just something that needed to be done very thorough and i like to just go at it and so this took me a couple of tries but the results are stunning i'm super excited about the results i'm really happy about the way it's looking and um, let's get into the video and i'll show you how i got it done thinking of putting it there i can make it go for the back i'm gonna see how much space is back there i could just cut a hole there <laughs> And make it go for the back. This doesn't have to be an issue. Just a tiny bit, but I can solve it. I have to say that this is um, the things that you come um, that that happen when you kind of plan in advance, but then you just buy a fridge secondhand when you can find one, and then it has to fit, and you have to adjust stuff. So I'm going to investigate how much space is behind the chair. And then I think I'm going to go with that option because this also leaves me space. The fridge will sit up about here and then I have space up there to put this one, my um, uh, uh, gas heater thingy, because I've put it in here, but it takes up so much space, but not height. So this is just... I couldn't really find a good space for it so I think that I would put it up here make a place for it up here and then some towels and everything can go in the back so I think this is a good place this and all of it I can still move this that doesn't matter I put it here because it was easy to put it here but I can just move it around okay let's go see how much space is in the back and there's a lot of space back here that I'm not using as you can see this is fairly big I'm gathering the guts to start cutting a hole and because if I cut a hole I have to figure out where I'm going to put the cable where I'm going to put the water hose and then I have to figure out where I'm going to put the I'm going to make a slide out because I do think I need to make a slide out so this is oh <coughs> the sliders that I got they are uh, 55 centimeters long and they are pushed to open and I got these because so this means that um, they are locked until you push it so when we're driving it's not gonna want to come out because of course I'm going to make doors here and these are going to stay put hopefully with magnets but if this comes crashing out when I start driving that is a lot of um, force for the magnet to hold so there's a big chance that it will open up and the fridge will come flying out so I got these so I made this platform for it to sit on being uh, stopped in the back and then it's attached over here and then it should slide out that way good morning i just woke up walked the dogs but i wanted to make a little video because yesterday i was in my bed and when i'm doing these projects i can hardly sleep because i'm just thinking of stuff and then i was looking at kitchen doors and I think that the size that I'm going to need for the kitchen is 40 centimeters twice. I think this cabinet is 80 centimeters wide. And then I remembered that I made this um, this board that I made for the fridge to sit on is 42 centimeters. But I have I can make it smaller. You know, I just use this, but I can make it smaller because if I have it 42 centimeters. I always need to open two cabinets, two cabinet doors to get this out. And that's not going to be convenient. So I'm all excited about this. 
Uh, yeah, but I have to adjust it. Okay, so this was quite difficult, but I managed with sawing, with the saw, with the jigsaw and with a knife. <laughs> so this is, uh, uh, I hope this is going to be the good measurement. It might have to go two centimeters over to the right, but that's not the hard part, so I can do that. But we're going to see uh, if it fits. So it fits. It's going to sit like this. Um, yeah. So <laughs> this is the idea and now I have to think about because I never want to get any water in here. I just never want to get any water close to it. So I'm thinking of making a little partition wall here like that and then to attach this to the wall. Okay, my wonderful people, welcome back. So this is the general idea here. Idea here I'm going to make, oh, I don't know where I put it but I have these little corners I'm gonna put it on here so this will sit on a corner thingy I'm going to paint this and then the plan is that this will have its place here this way water can reach the uh, fridge I have to attach this I'm going to drill some holes and attach it that way to the bottom this rail is going to be attached to this part so it's working I really made tons of mistakes on this because of course you have to have them totally square or they won't work so that was pretty difficult but it is working now I've been getting these um, cabinet doors but yeah stuff isn't working the way I want it to work I got the wrong size yes thank you brain anyhow not gonna be upset about it I can just I'll fix it look you guys I needed a place for this thing to go for the <laughs> uh, which is German <laughs> I guess this is a perfect space for it. So I'm super excited about this. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's working. It's working. Now I do think I got the one that you have to push before it will start moving again. But the pushing element is in the driving direction. So there's a big chance that if I break, it gets. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. For now, it is sturdy. And for the doors, I got these little things for the doors which are called Kugelschnapper. So, uh, like a bullet snapper. See, so this snaps in there. So hopefully this will keep the doors closed. Okay, thank God I went back to the store and he was uh, kind enough to cut it again and make new holes for me. Oh, I'm so excited that he did that. Okay, so we put these hinges. That's the word I was looking for, hinges. We're gonna attach it here, but I've already seen that this, I have to move this to make this fit. <laughs> and here, probably the same issue. This hinge is so big that this, the fridge won't sit on here anymore. So I probably have to move this with a little, uh, put a little beam under here to the side so that it moves everything to the right. <laughs> Story of my life, I do things in the wrong order and then in the end it doesn't work <laughs> work out <laughs> but we'll see it's okay it's okay <laughs> i forgot all about these doors but as when the doors when, <laughs> when the doors are gonna be in there i'll see if it still works if it doesn't work i'll just put a little beam uh, over there and move everything <laughs> to the right there's room to do that but this is just how it works when you just focus on one task at a time and well, I kind of planned ahead. I just didn't really realize that these hinges are about two centimeters thick. We'll see. Maybe it works. I don't think so. But if it doesn't work, I'll see how I can fix it. And I'll probably just put a little beam in there and move the entire thing. I made it so that I can just move it to the right and then it'll be fixed. <laughs> but this is the story of my fan build. I make something, I have to adjust it or sometimes change it altogether. <laughs> 
but it's okay. It's gonna be awesome in the end, and that's all that matters. So I'm very thankful that my dad is helping because you have to be very precise with these things, and I don't really like to be precise. Plus, I kind of think it's hard to be precise. So Pilu agrees. So um, he's helping me, and he works precise so that the doors will just hinge the way they're supposed to. I'm really excited. I made these handles out of a leather belt that I had laying around. And um, so they have cute door handles. Oh, and I drilled the <laughs> I made it on the wrong side, so there's wrong holes. But I'll just paint over it. I'll just fix it. <laughs> okay, you wonderful people. So like everything in this project, I my dad is still working here. You want to be in the vlog, Dad? No. No, <laughs> he doesn't want to be in there. But um, I mismeasured the cabinet door, so now they're in there and they look pretty pretty, but they just they don't fit. So we have to get we have to take a piece off. So it's horrible. But as everything in this project, we're just struggling. <laughs> they got my dad. <laughs> they don't fit. My dad is here to save the day. Okay, so this is where we left off. Now this is because I accidentally put these there, <laughs> but I'll fix it. Um, so this is where we left off. Uh, I had lunch and I chilled a little bit and now I'm going to finish it. So I have to make the drawer. It can't slide right now, so I have to make it be able to slide. So I'm going to see how to do that. So you guys, <laughs> as you could see, it was a project with a lot of trial and error, and uh, I have another project coming up, which is going to have some trial and error because I <laughs> because I'm going to fix the door, uh, the sliding door. I hadn't finished the bi the bi <laughs> the inside, and I have already done some sort of test thing and I realized that I need to cut in the little shelving because they are touching the door but that's <laughs> for another video um, I'm super happy with how it's working now it took some adjusting and some you know but it worked and it's looking great and it's working the way I wanted it to work so I'm super happy I can put my um, all my waters in there my gray and my fresh water and I have room for some towels. I have room for my heater, my um, gas heater thingy for uh, cooking, my gas stove, and I have room for my fridge. So, yeah, I'm super happy that it fits in there. And now, uh, yeah, it's getting closer and closer to finish and um, going to live in it. I actually canceled the lease on my house scary but no I'm not really scared I was scared to cancel once I canceled I was like yeah I want to do this I've been wanting to do this for a year I'm gonna do it so uh, yeah we're doing this but um, yeah so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them and uh, I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime don't forget to say yes to new adventures